You try to open your website and instead of your home page, you see the scary notice, this account has been suspended. Sometimes it even redirects to a random page you don't recognize. It's vague, it's frustrating, and it doesn't tell you anything about what actually happened. But here's the truth. Your web host suspended your account, which means right now your site is offline. No one can visit it, and unless you act quickly, some hosts even threaten to delete it. It feels like the end of the world, but it's not. I'll show you why this happens, what you need to do step by step, and how to get your site back up fast without wasting money or weeks of time. Web hosts suspend sites for a few reasons. The most common in 2025 is malware. If Google Safe Browsing or your host security scan detects malicious code on your site, they'll instantly suspend it to protect their server. Another reason is resource abuse. Shared hosts like Bluehost or Hostgator keep thousands of websites on one server. If your site suddenly eats up too much CPU or memory, maybe from a bot attack or maybe from a bad plugin, they'll suspend you. And finally, the simple stuff, fail payments or policy violations, maybe your card expired, maybe you unknowingly uploaded content that violated their rules. In all cases, the result is the same, your site goes down. So the first step to fixing a suspended site is reaching out to your host and asking them for the specific file that's infected. Most hosts will generate a file list. It can be called something like malware.txt. This shows you exactly what triggered the suspension and you need that detail because without it, you're just guessing. Also, don't forget, whenever a host suspends a site, they'll send you an email. It might be buried in your inbox, but it's always worth checking because it actually explains the reason or links to the files that caused the issue. That email is your starting point before you do anything else. Now, let's say your site was suspended because of malware. This is the trickiest one to fix, but it's fixable. Here's how I do it, and don't worry, the process isn't that complicated if you have the right tools by your site. As you can't log in into WordPress anymore, the only way is through FTP or SFTP. You'll need those credentials from your host. Once you have them, you can go to this site and enter all the details. Now, we've built Malcare from the ground up to offer proactive protection. This means your site isn't just reacting after it's already been hacked, it's actively blocking attacks before they can even bring you down. And if you've already filled the form, then in a few minutes, you'll get a response from the team to get the FTP or SFTP access. Once that's done, Malcare system scans every file, removes the malware entirely, and then hand access back to you. After that, you simply tell your host to please rescan your site now. They check, confirm it's clean, and unsuspend your account. Your site is back online. And here's the important difference you should know about with Malcare. Cleanup usually takes minutes, not days. We've been doing this for years, and in 2025, the process is faster and more secure than ever. If the suspension happened because your site was overusing resources, the fix is different. Sometimes it's bot traffic hampering your site. Sometimes it's a plugin gone rogue. First, you'll want to block bad bots with a firewall. Otherwise, they'll just keep flooding your site. Malcare handles this automatically, but you can also ask your host to give you temporary access so you can install any other firewall plugin. Caching also helps. It reduces the number of requests hitting your server, and if nothing works, you might need to migrate to a better hosting plan. But don't jump right into upgrading. Often the underlying issue is bots or a hack, not genuine traffic growth. Now, if the reason is something simple like payment failure, that's the easiest fix. Just update your card, clear the payment, and your site will be back. Policy violations are trickier. Maybe it's copyright materials, spam emails, or something else that host doesn't allow. In that case, you will need to remove the content and let your host know. Even after your site comes back, you can't just leave it there. You need to close the door that let it happen in the first place. Change your passwords, update your plugins and themes, remove anything pirated or nulled, and set up a security plugin and regular backups. Because trust me, once a site has been hacked or suspended, it's always more vulnerable the next time. So if you're seeing that dreaded account suspended message, here's the plan. Talk to the host, find out why, fix the root cause, and then request a review. If it's malware, the fastest path is giving FTP access, letting us clean it, and then asking your host to verify. Usually your site is back within hours. And if you want to see how to handle the next big headache, which is Google blacklisting your site, check out this video here.